Ladies, this is 2022. We are no longer going to simp over a man. We are no longer going to wait for a boy to text us. This is our villain era, so let's go. A few moments later. I feel like being a bitch today. When he doesn't reply to your text, but watches your story. This is the same lady from the last video. This only applies to regular guys. It doesn't apply to chat. Do I want to act like we're in a relationship? Yes, I do. Do I actually want to date you? Absolutely not. Are you allowed to talk to other people? I'd prefer if you didn't. Can I? Yes, I can. Is that toxic? Probably. Do I care? No. So what she's saying is she doesn't want you, but she doesn't want you to be with someone else. Modern women are not dateable. I don't get why some guys put up with this nonsense. The Swedish feminists are so annoyed that Swedish men are importing Thai wives. Those women are miserable no matter what. Do you know why those type of men go for women like you? Because they know women from their own countries won't tolerate any of their nonsense. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Maybe they go to those places to find better wives. Women who are feminine, women who are trained to be wives. So they go all the way to Thailand to look for somebody who will put up with this. And I'm not, and I'm going to be very honest with you. Some of you end up getting murdered by these toxic guys. So the Swedish feminists are doing you a favor. They're preventing you from getting hurt. I know some of you guys are done with women and that's fine. Now this is for you guys who might still want to date someone. My advice to you is to get your passports. Get your passports and start traveling if you can afford it. And also do yourself a favor. Don't listen to the naysayers. Just do what's best for you. Getting my passports was one of the best things I've ever done. Look at this tiny little banana I found. He's so small and tiny. He's just a little- Ma'am, that is an average sized banana. It's an average sized banana. You just have extremely large hands. <laughs> okay, so you really like him, but you his friend. Here's the tea. Child, let me tell you, some of these men really don't care. Some of them, it hurts their ego, especially if they happen to be the ugly friend. Then you'll just be busy like mending that up and you know, telling him that he's beautiful, even though like his other friend is like fine as hell. These are the same people who are gonna tell you, my BC does not define me. Oh yes, it does. And trust me, child, if you think they don't know, they know. You have been in the group chat. They have checked the whole facts. They know. Even if you don't want them to know, they know. Men don't can't hold water for anything. They kiss and tell, okay? Men kiss and tell, and especially to their friends. So I'm not saying that you can't date him. I'm not saying that you can't have sex with him too. I'm just saying that his friends no, they, they, he knows, his friends know, and there might not be anything that comes from it other than just that. A real friend is not going to let your wife up, someone who's been around the block. And sometimes men don't care and they will still cuff you anyway, but most of the time they're simps and you don't really want to be with those kind of men anyway. Those women don't respect simps. You know, he's probably just like really busy. You know, it's a Sunday, there's a good chance he was hungover, he's probably just running some errands, he's got a lot of stuff to do. These are the stuff she's telling herself after she got ghosted. I'm, I'm not worried about it. Okay, so his score's going up a little bit, but not a lot. So maybe he's just like not answering any of his streaks. He's just like opening like mass snaps and like group messages. But like, he'll talk to me tomorrow. He's just, he's just not ready to have a conversation with me. Now, this is day two of her trying to convince herself. All right, so it's day three now. Still nothing. You know, he probably just has like a really big exam coming up. You know, like he is just studying all day, every day, nonstop. He's just really stressed out about this exam. So he'll talk to me once he takes the exam, but like not yet. <laughs> you know, I am so stupid. Four days I haven't heard from him. He probably got COVID. He is probably bed right now, okay? The last thing he wants to do is be answering people on his phone. You know, he doesn't have the energy for it. He's sick. I'm an idiot. He lost his phone. Like, there's no other way to put it. He just lost his phone, and he's trying to do everything he can to reach out to me, but he just literally lost his phone. Like, there's no form of communication. You know, his score might be going up, but maybe he's just logging into Snapchat on other people's phones, okay? 
I know this was meant to be funny, but these are the stuff they do for guys like Chad and Tyrone. You know, phones act up all the time. <laughs> There's a good possibility that maybe my last Snapchat never went through. Okay, so maybe this whole time that I've been thinking he's ghosting me, maybe I'm really ghosting him. Maybe he never even got my last snap. So this whole time that I'm sitting here waiting for him, maybe he's actually waiting for me. What if he like did? Like, you know, his score's going up. He's clearly using Snapchat, but like, maybe he's like legitimately ghosting me. This is her responding to a guy who said, maybe you should talk to a guy who treats you right. Um, because like, What's the fun in that? <laughs> they make it impossible to feel bad for him. 